you require to practice in both the cases. Nature of practice is different. When you say something, the other person receives the same thing. For PT, you have to acquire the facts, which is where your understanding level has to be of the nature, where I would imagine that if options are given, you are able to really have the fact popping up in your mind. But when you are in the month of March, you can't think of doing too much of your main examination. Hello, parents. Today we have got a different topic to talk about and that topic is the various stages of the examination. This examination is conducted at uh, preliminary level and the mains level and the interview level. A lot of people talk to me all the time that how we should go about doing this PT and mains preparation as a kind of exclusive preparation for PT and exclusive preparation for mains for that matter. In fact, uh, I find that uh, PT and mains transition, that's the issue that we have got. If you ask me, I would believe in the first point. They're part of the same continuum. You're the same person, you're the same, the, 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 the same individual who is going through the various stages of this preparation. Of course, there are some differences. Of course, there are some uh, facets of our preparation that need to be kept in mind. But nevertheless, you are the same person. The sources are same. The only thing is that, I mean, you have got certain speciality that gets added for the main examination. Like, for example, certain topics are there, but then there are certain different topics are there for CSAT. Then you have got essay paper is there. There is also a difference of an optional presence. So these facets definitely are the structural differences in the nature of examination. Another difference I'm sure needless to mention is that they have got multiple choice questions and here you have to really express. So additional skill of expression very much comes into the forefront. But I again would like to mention majority of the issues and the facts that you prepare for PT and you collect for mains, they are running through and through. You the same person at the same time. Then I would like to find the skill and, and facts required but difference in approach is there. See, for, for PT, you have to acquire the facts which is where your understanding level has to be of the nature, where I would imagine that if options are given, you are able to really have the fact popping up in your mind. But remember, these days, UPS is not asking difficult questions. They are making difficult choices. So one has to be very careful about crystallized thoughts so that you understand that one choice is different from the other choice and you are able to put your finger in the right place. So that's important and one has to be bearing this fact in mind. While you go for the main examination, your answers are not given. You have to produce answers from your mind and one has to be conscious of this fact and be in a position to produce the fact as and when you require them to be produced. The only thing is that um, you have tested yourself well in advance that hey, when I need those facts, are those facts are coming back to my mind or not? And that is something which is what I would like you to see the approach being different. Also, if I say practice, again, I see this uh, continuum comes together. You require to practice in both the cases. Nature of practice is different. You're practicing multiple choice questions, you're practicing essay type questions, but definitely, definitely practice has to be there. However, the nature of practice is going to be different in both the cases. Apart from that, I would like you to also balance the preparation. A lot of the students I find, every year they'll clear PT and then they have problem with their main examination, largely because they have not balanced their preparation. Some students to the contrary, they have not cleared PT year after year after year. And one year when they clear, they get a very high rank um, under 20. So you have to balance your preparation that you clear not only PT, but also mains. And then you, this, this balance has to be judiciously identified after practicing those questions and taking the test series. They really, really help. I think I call upon all those people who are giving this examination, they should start the test series to know the basic contour of their preparation. 
they say is not to be taken. Most of the people do this mistake, not to be taken when you have prepared fully. Well, this series has to be taken at a stage while you are still preparing. You should know the direction in which you have to move and get proper, proper suggestion while you still got time to improve and then, then actually uh, correct those mistakes that you have got. In fact, I think I would like to further uh, identify that you should have enough time allocated for your optional. Because a lot of time people ignore their optional. Optional is a big differentiator. So there should be enough time allocated for that. Also, importance to be given to essay. At some other stage, I'll be talking about essay writing and some basic techniques that involve in that. So you should not take those serious marks which is there in essay writing. So you have to develop that as well. Apart from that, and you have to prioritize the time depending on the location of your uh, preparation. If your location of the preparation is too far away from mains and is too close to PT, I suppose you should be judiciously allocating time to PT more. I, I can give you an example while you are in the month of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, July, August, September, like that, and next year to give examination, you have to give more time to definitely main examination where you have got your final salvation line. But when you are in the month of March, you can't think of doing too much of your main examination, March and April, you have to be focused more on PT examination. Similarly, uh, the, the syllabus coverage uh, has to be one thing that has to be kept in mind. And while you're doing this PT and mains, this pressure should not be forgotten. And I would also like to insist on one more thing. While you're preparing for this PT and mains, both of them, it is important that you keep a constant reference of the previous year's question. These previous year's questions are our real, real guiding compass, which keeps our preparation oriented. I suppose you understand that what is your location, what is the time, what is your comfort level, what is the skill level, what is the knowledge level that you require. Depending on that, you are preparing for both PT and mains together, but then priority would change depending on your uh, location and then proximity to the next examination coming in front of you. I hope you have got some idea as to how to divide your time and attention. My best wishes as always is with you.